This is a traditional Vietnamese honeycomb cake, also known as Ban Ba Nung. It's a little bit of a newer recipe for me, however, it's definitely an old classic in my house. It's gluten-free, made with tapioca starch, has so much coconutty aromatics to it. You guys are gonna wanna try this. I'm preheating the oven to 315 degrees with our bun pan in it. Let's move on to the batter. We're going to start by cracking six large eggs into a strainer. Using a whisk or a spatula, push the eggs through. Try not to incorporate too much air here. Take your time so that way all you're left with is the protein membranes. Now we add one third cup of sugar, two tablespoons of oil, one teaspoon of salt, one can of coconut milk, it's about 400 milliliters, and half a teaspoon of pandan paste. Now slowly combine these ingredients. Try to avoid lifting your whisk so as not to incorporate any more air. Now in a separate bowl, we sift our dry ingredients together. Two cups of tapioca starch, five tablespoons of rice flour, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm alternating back and forth between the three ingredients. That way we have a nice even mix. Time to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. Be gentle. Don't worry about the lumps. We're going to be putting our batter through a strainer one more time. Use the same one you did for the eggs. Less cleanup. Ugh, it kind of looks like preschool cornstarch slime. But don't worry, it's gonna taste so good. Time for the oven. Our bunt pan is now hot. Make sure you use gloves. Then I spray it thoroughly with whatever nonstick spray you like to use. Gently pour in your batter. Try to do this as evenly as possible. Then I cover it with tin foil. This beauty is gonna bake for about an hour and a half. I like to remove the foil near the end for additional browning. Other than that, try not to peek. Be patient. So our cake is not completely cool this time. It's actually still a little bit warm. And as soon as you pull it out of the oven, you're gonna notice that it starts to shrink a little bit and kind of pull away from the sides. Don't worry, that's actually what's supposed to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this out onto our platter and take a slice. Oh yeah, that easy release. So pretty. Look at that lovely green color. So if you guys know this cake, it's a traditional Vietnamese ban ba nung, and the key is the inside. So it's called like a honeycomb cake because the inside kind of has like these interesting bubbles and striations that remind you of honeycomb. So we're gonna go ahead and slice into this guy. Super golden around the edges. Kind of looks like a, a jellyfish to be honest. This is my favorite knife of all time. We buy it from this shop in Chinatown that we love. It's still hot, but this knife is super sharp. Look at that, so pretty. It's like that emerald green on the inside from the pandan paste, and it smells super coconutty. I'm gonna actually let it cool just a little bit on our plate here. Um, because it is piping hot still. And a lot of people would actually love to eat it while it's hot. Um, there's a lot of Vietnamese desserts that are sweet but served hot. Um, and I guess like the honeycomb cake could be one of them. But I like things cooler. 
Let's have a taste. It's gonna be kind of chewy. That's like the whole idea. That's what the tapioca starch actually does. Mmm. Look at those beautiful bubbles. It's very coconutty. It's like very aromatic, a little crispy on the outside. It is just like my childhood. And if you guys have never had it, it is such an authentic, special treat. Mm. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and eat cake. I am the Bake Boss.